Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all doing well. In today's episode is going to be something different, something I've been meaning to do for a while now. As you all know, my cable management sucks. Um, and yeah, needed to be done. I think it's a bit over overdue now, four and a half years in to the tank and yeah, something needed to be done. So today, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be sorting out this cabinet and we're going to be, uh, yeah, doing all this cable management. Now, obviously, last week, you'll have seen that my Kamoa was uh, basically broke. Um, obviously, God knows what, what's happened to that, but it's uh, it's happened and nothing we can do about that. Um, and yeah, bit of panic stations at the beginning, but it all got sorted. I managed to borrow a couple of pumps off my mate until I could sort something out. And I've managed to buy something, but what I'll do is I'll show you that later on in the video, in this video. Um, and I, yeah, hopefully these pumps will be be fantastic, which I think they will be anyway. And I think you'll all guess which pumps I've probably gone for now. Uh, but I have messaged uh, Kamoa, so hopefully they'll get back to me. And uh, yeah, we'll see, we'll sort it out from there. But what we're going to do is we're going to stick on this topic and we're going to look at basically the cable management for the uh, for the for the tank. Now, obviously, I was wondering, I was going to make one myself, a board and stuff, but I was wondering if uh, they did. Um, now, a new Exodus did, uh, or used to, do the hex boards, and they were out in all the shops. Uh, I think they were out in AAC, um, Charterhouse Aquatics and stuff like that. Um, so, I, obviously, I reached out and I just said, you know, do you still do them? Because, obviously, I'd not seen them about, not seen many videos on them either so i thought you know what let's uh let's go and let's have a look to see if they've uh they've got them reached out and they said yeah uh they got back to me straight away they, they, they still do them um and i just said like obviously basically i'm going to be doing my cable management and stuff and you know jez and steve from from exodus said you know what no problem what we'll do is we'll we'll manage to sort you one out and we'll send one out to you which obviously i was over the moon i couldn't believe that they would send me something something out like that and they said, uh, if we've got any problems, reach out to them and yeah, they'll help me uh, and stuff like that. So they've sent me one out and basically this is what you get or what I got. Now I've laid it out on my couch and this is the Hex, the Hex Board Deluxe Control Board by Exodus. What I'll do is I'll put links in the description below so you can go and check them all out. But basically what this board is, guys, is this is all going to be mounting. I'm going to mount all of my stuff on the controller. Now, I've laid a, a well, a rough kiddie guide of what I'm going to be doing, when I'm going to be putting them. I'll probably post a little tiny picture here or here. Uh, basically, I was just messing about to see where the, a rough guide of where I wanted to put the, uh, the controllers and, and stuff like that. This but moment I got this out the gap out the box, guys, I couldn't believe how light it was. Now it's made, it's not made of wood, I don't think. It's made of a I don't know whether like a polyon carbonate or something. It's not I don't know exactly what it is made of, but it's so so light. I couldn't believe how light it was to be honest. Um and yeah, basically all these cutouts are all for where your cables are gonna go. Now what they did was they also sent me extras. So these these ones are the same as them. This one is like a little shelf. Basically, you can click the shelf on, on, on it like that. So you can put either a little single dosing pump or you can put, um, you know, uh, um, uh, some of your, um, either your liquids, you know, your little dosing liquids, what you use or anything like that. This is obviously a thing, but this one actually fits in here. So you, as you can see, you can fit three cables through if you want. Whichever one you want, there's, a, there's an array of different ways you can go i also received a two um shelf one as well which is i think i'm going to be using but i'm definitely going to be using this one uh i'll probably be putting it there to be honest that's where i'm going to be putting the uh the doser and then we're going to be putting the containers below now one thing i am going to say straight off the bat is 
of, as you all know, I've been using the Aqua Forest. I've used this on this tank for four years plus. Uh, but since I've been using the CVE from Corals Essentials, I've just thought to myself, you know what? I'm using a lot of their products, to be honest now. I've actually got the dropper bottles as well, some of them. And I thought to myself, you know what? What I'm going to do is I'm going to switch. While I'm doing this process, I'm going to switch over to um, CVE. And I'm going to do dose their trace elements along with the calcium, alkalinity, and magnesium. Now, I know this is a massive change. It's going to, going to be a finger to the system, I think. But not only is it going to help it, I think, because of obviously the, uh, you know, I'm dosing some of their stuff anyway. It's not going to be a massive change, I wouldn't thought. The only massive change in this tank that's going to happen, really, is going to be the um, consumption. Now, when I've spoke to Phil from CVE, he's reached out, he said to me, he'll sit, he'll sit down, send in my uh, guide what I'm dosing, and he'll work it out for me, um, which he did do, which I was really extremely thankful for. Um, and he came back to me saying that I, it, I'd be basically dosing, I think it was 42 mil of alkalinity, and 39 and 36 mil respectively of the magnesium and calcium. Now, in this tank, guys, I'm dosing, 190 mil of calcium, 190 mil of alkalinity, and 310 mil of magnesium still of the aquaforest stuff. The difference with that is sometimes you, well, you've got to add the bottles of uh, trace elements with it. So you've got to add the A, B, uh, C, and K um, elements into the uh, aquaforest. Now the stuff I've got got from um, Corals Essentials is the bottles. I'll show them in a minute. Um, I've got the bottles, which I've obviously got the trace elements in there, so that's going to help. But, I mean, the bottles are 2.75 litres and 2.6 litres. Um, so, basically, that's going to last, I think I worked out, at around about two and a half months, three months um, of that liquid. So, it's going to be a big help, really. And, it, and like I said, as you all know, mixing it is not... I, I hate mixing um, the stuff, but... You know, it's gonna. I think it's gonna help the system immensely. So once I've set all this cable management up and I've done this, I don't want this video on to go on too long. I might break it down into two. I'm not sure. If I do break it down into two, I'm gonna just do probably concentrate on the uh, on the cable management side. But we'll 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 figure something out and uh, yeah, we'll sort some out. So what? Once again, guys, I'm gonna sort all this out. I'm gonna get the cables. You'll probably see them all over the floor. I need to strip everything out from this from this cabinet and I'm got, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be putting a heater in the tank um, and I'm going to be running one of the wave makers I don't know if it's going to be the Gyro or whether it's going to be the MP40 but I'm going to be running it because it's going to take at least three I would have said three to four hours uh, for this to, to, to take place but we'll figure it out and hopefully fingers crossed no damage will be done and we'll uh, we'll sort it all out so I'll see you shortly guys all right guys we're back and as you can see it's an absolute mess all but it is what it is we've got to, we've got to saw it out and as you can see i've got the uh reef wave and the uh, flow the pump monitor on the uh the board so far and what i've had to do is because i'm going to be feeding the uh vortex the two uh, sorry the yeah the two vortex um power power supply uh, power cable uh, controllers you've got to actually you've got to strip them down because they won't be able to feed through here and obviously the slit there is too is too too small so you've got to take it apart and you just basically disconnect disconnect it from there and then put it back together um so i'm going to be removing this one and this one putting this as a blank i'll turn this upside down so that this will be painted to the top and then i'm going to be putting them here and here then the new um, dosing, which I'm going to show you by the way, is over here. Sorry guys. And it's the Versa, which we've gone for. I've bought three Versas. I've got the fourth one, obviously, dosing my cow cost, but I need to buy another one. Just need to uh, save up and, yeah, we'll get that. But that then is going to be going on this shelf here. And we're going to be putting the shelf just on there. Then what we're going to do is we're going to run the containers just below there, like I said. Hopefully, fingers crossed, it'll be okay. It will stand out just enough. And fingers crossed, we'll be able to 
maybe just be able to squeeze it in there. This they've tied it, cable tied up these things. It's not too bad to be honest. Cable tied a few more. I'm just gonna cable tie a few more of these ones as well together so that it's nice and neat. And then we'll just lay it back. So hopefully the hex board then will come to here and then we'll have enough space to be able to put the containers here and the, 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 the dose in. And we should, fingers crossed, be able to get away with it. Uh, this is the control, this is the thingy for the uh, Vortec. So yeah, the, we need to just plug that back in. I need to disconnect this Vortec here. I'm gonna do that now and then we're gonna feed it through. I've just put a pump in, I've just switched the Vortec off to, to disconnect it. We've got the uh, the heater in here, that's at 25.5, so that's not too bad. Been doing it about an hour now, an hour and a bit, so hopefully we're getting there. And like I said, there's just parts everywhere, guys. It's just an absolute nightmare. And yeah, my bit of advice is if you want to set up a reef tank, set up all your cable management at the beginning. Uh, go ahead, go get something like this, a hex board. Um, get it all done, and then you don't have to mess about like me. You know, obviously four years into the making and uh, yeah, I'm only just doing it now. But that's, if I was setting up a new tank, that's what I would do now 100% is set it up straight from the get-go. No rushing, make sure it's all done, cable management is all done and then you don't have to worry about it then. But uh, hopefully, fingers crossed, we'll, uh, we'll get it done in the next hour or so and I'll come back to you then, guys. So, fingers crossed, eh? All right then, guys, so we're back in. And yeah finally finally well you could you'd just seen the mess of uh, exactly what it was all like but finally got there guys and here we go this is the sump now it's all been tidied up and done it look good i need to just connect the pump to the cve which is here i'm running the D, &D the D, D one which is over in the corner over there that D, D one there that's going to be running the cve so we plumb that in i need to get another pump for this guys but uh yeah i think it just looks uh fantastic i've not switched the uh ato on yet i'm going to do that in a minute because there's uh more than enough water in there um but yeah i think it just looks fantastic now hell of a big difference and if you just stand back now it looks a proper reef tank don't know what you guys think but let me know in the comments below what you think it took me literally guys over two two and a half three hours i reckon it took me I had a few issues obviously uh putting all the cables out together dismantling everything as you can remember i had the heat off which was in there so obviously it was a bit of a nightmare but you know what we got there in the end and everything is absolutely fine now so it's all dialed in everything's fine what i've done is i've stuck the because these are all liquids these this is the like i said this is the uh, coral essential stuff i put a picture here what i'm actually dosing but i've stuck the stickers i've just basically cut them so we know exactly what it is calcium alkalinity and magnesium and we know then roughly what's going to uh because they're all clear we know what I'm going to be tipping in and we know sometimes we can make mistakes. Uh, so we've now got no error to make a mistake. Knowing my luck, I probably still will, but uh, but it is what it is. But here, as you can see, these pumps are for the uh, the wave makers. All perfect. Just stuck, stuck down. Everything's all fine. And yeah, everything I think is, is, is looking really good. Uh, but hopefully... Fingers crossed, fingers crossed, that dosing will be fine. I mean, I've been dosing, obviously I've been dosing, it's, not, it's only been settled not long, so using that stuff, the, so uh, the alkalinity should be, well, it seems stable enough, so we'll we'll see. But what, while I was doing it, I've changed the, the pump head, so I've took this, uh, the power head, I've changed it for a clean one, so hopefully, like I said, guys, everything will be fine. But this is just a, a quick video of, uh, like I said, of the changeover and the new the new design of this. So comment below, guys. Let me know what you think. And uh, yeah, let me know your impressions. See if you, you like it. Don't forget, if you want one of these, go over to, um, head over to Exodus. Um, I, I'm sure they do. 
the distributors. I'm not sure. I think Charterhouse do them as well. Um, I'm not sure. Uh, Charterhouse, I'm sure um, Aquatic, the, the what's the that other store called? The Aquatic Stuff store. Can't remember the exact name, but... Yeah, get over there and check them out. See if you get go, go and go and get one because uh, they're well worth it, and it's so easy to screw screws into it. You don't need to pilot drill them. You just screw it, screw it in, and it's fantastic. So yeah, once again, guys, really appreciate you watching. Comment below, click the thumbs up, the like that, or the thumbs down, whichever one you want. Yeah, let me know what you think of uh, what you what you think of the tank, and let me know what you want to see on the on the channel, and we'll see what we can do. So once again, guys. I appreciate you following and I'll see you on the next video. So take care.